One of the new features in Tableau 29.2 is the ability to do make point spatial calculations. I'm going to go to my trusted pirate map. Yes, I actually use the pirate map as an example of explaining mapping to new users because it's actually a really good way to understand the concept. So when we're uh, visualizing information, when we plot locations on a map, we typically use two values, a latitude and a longitude. Depending on the coordinate system your country uses, you might use slightly different numbers, like Eastings and Northings are typically used here in the UK by government authorities. In other countries, they might use slightly different coordinate systems. But regardless, the principle is the same. You have some sort of coordinate with a location. So if I if I kind of bring these into point, um, if you look at this pirate map, this X is marked by these coordinates, 66.3. It's actually got this going backwards if you look at this very closely. And then 21.3. So if you go down 21.3, that gives you the location of the map. Um, and so this is really, really important because we often take that for granted. In order to actually plot this onto the onto the visualization, Tableau automatically takes the latitude and the longitude and creates a point for us. However, if you don't have uh, a, a geographical sort of value, you need to be able to make a point using a pair of values. And so that's what make point allows you to do. Let's hop back into Tableau and see how that's done. Okay, so we're back in Tableau and the data set I'm going to use for this is actually one that was released to the community by Exasol. It was a really, really large data set. It's actually a huge extract. Um, and it's essentially Chicago taxi data. So it's an incredibly large data set. What I'm going to do is I'm just basically going to very, very quickly understand how big this data set is. If I just drag number of records onto text, you can see that I'm working with 13 million rows. To make this slightly easier and quicker to work with, I'm just going to drag company onto rows and try and understand which company has a sort of a reasonable size. So let's just go with uh, data from the Donald Barnes company. Let's just keep that, okay? So we have 92 rows now. This is gonna work a little bit faster for us. I'm going to remove that and the number of records and we're back to square one. Now, if you recall, if I double click latitude and longitude, I automatically get a single point. Now in this particular case, it's actually giving me the average of all of those um, sort of taxi rides. Uh, but if I was to remove that, and then we create a calculation. In this particular case, I'm just gonna open a calculated fill by right clicking on the left hand side and creating this interface. And because it's a new function that's being uh, used here, you can actually use Tableau's assistance menu here on the right hand side to show you how to do that. If you can't see that, if your calculation window looks like this, you just need to click this small arrow uh, to reveal it. And if I type in make point, you can see that it's right there. And actually if I double click that, it automatically completes uh, the calculation for us by creating that. And then it also gives you a hint as to how it should be typed. It also gives you a hint here on the left hand side. So you have latitude and longitude, and that's basically what it needs. So what I typically do is I leave this calculation window open. You can move it around your screen and then just bring in, in the order that it's asked for, latitude and then a comma and then longitude. Just put that after that, okay? And if I just increase the space here, you can see that that's, that now looks correct. So make point, drop of latitude, drop of longitude, click OK. And now we have a new spatial object. And this time it's just a point. So if I just call this uh, drop off point, okay? And if I double click that, then you actually get the different drop off points for that taxi. Now this is really, really handy because what it's doing is it's doing this at a data level. So I'm not having to add anything else onto the level of detail to actually highlight the different trips. I've just simply used the make point function to go and get the points for each trip. And when I visualize that, Tableau correctly assumes that I'd like to see all the different drop off points. So it gives me that detail in the view. Now I'm extremely lazy. So what I normally do is actually duplicate the field I just created then I edit it. So that means I get everything absolutely right. So let's just call this pickup point. And then I just need to replace these two fields. So I can do that by simply dragging the new ones on top. So let's just do this. And let's just do that. 
Perfect. Click apply. And there we have it. Now, if I was to double click pickup points, it actually, it's actually slightly different, right? Because I don't see anything happening. If I drag off the drop off points, then it will actually render the pickup points. You've got to be careful because it's using the mapping type. So if I just go back a step, you would expect to see sort of both on each other, but actually that's something you need another feature for because what you'd want to do is draw a line between the two. So tune into that video and I'll show you how to do that. But that's it. That's the make point feature that allows you to create data points from coordinates and you can visualize them straight away in Tableau. If you found that video useful, hit subscribe. If not, drop a comment in the comments section below and let us know what kind of content you'd like to see.